Venezuela's economic recession and its ruinous populist policies have plunged the country into a full-blown catastrophe. For months now, we've seen supermarkets go without food, pharmacies without medicine. Legions of political opponents have been incarcerated by President Nicolas Maduro and his government. One of the most famous dissidents, Leopoldo Lopez, has just been released. But he is not free, just under house arrest. The government claims it was an act of mercy for an ailing man. Opponents disagree and say the regime is becoming increasingly desperate. His wife, Lilian Tintori, joins me now from Caracas. Lilian, welcome to the program. You must be very, very happy. How is your reunion? And is he sick? Is that why he was released? Thank you, Christian, for the opportunity to speak today and thank you to CNN. I'm not happy. I'm full of hope. I feel at peace because now Leopoldo is safe. Leopoldo is in house arrest, but is with our children. But still there are 432 political prisoners in Venezuela that we ask the release of the political prisoners in Venezuela immediately. Leopoldo Tramfer for jail to house arrest should be seen as the first, it's like the first step towards that the freedom of all the political prisoners mm -hmm. and freedom our country, Venezuela. Yes, I, I understand that, Lilian. And in fact, you've tweeted that I cannot think of all the families who still feel the pain of separation from their loved ones, unfair prisoners, and fallen. Let me ask you, because this is sensitive, Leopoldo said he would not leave jail first, that it had to be all or nothing, and yet he's out. What was the reason for that? Many things. First, protest in the street for more than 102 days. People ask in the street today, release all the political prisoners. The second thing I, I, I feel is the international community. I need to say thank you. Thank you and, th and thank you all the countries that ask for democracy in Venezuela and ask for release political prisoners, especially Leopoldo Lopez, my husband. And the other thing is the torture, the conditions. Leopoldo has been in a military jail for three years and five months, isolated with degrading and cruel treatments, tortures, and we denounce all the tortures, all the cruel treatments, and Leopoldo need to be out that military jail. Lillian, what was the torture? Can you describe the torture? Yes. The last 32 days, was horrible. They blocked the lawyer's visit. Leopoldo have been three months without his lawyers and 32 days without the family. They block the connection of the family to Leopoldo, the calls, the books, they put inside a jail without nothing. And they block the food to Leopoldo and they obligate Leopoldo to eat the food of that jail. And Leopoldo said no. And then Leopoldo tried a little piece of food and start sick for 10 days. Mm -hmm. And nothing happened. Mm -hmm. It's torture, it's isolated, without light, mm -hmm. without con a co a connection with anybody. Mm -hmm. That's treatment. Okay. That's con torture, treatments, and cruel. All right, let and me ask you. has been for many months. Yeah. many years. So he's been in, as you said, for more, than, for more than three years. You know, there are people like the Attorney General, Luisa Ortega Diaz, who's loyal to Maduro, but now is criticizing him. Do you believe at this moment that there can be a greater push in the opposition's demands for democracy? Can Leopoldo, under house arrest, lead the opposition? How? What are the conditions of his house arrest? Bueno, right now, Leopoldo have a monitor, um, a digital monitor in his uncle.
to track him. So Leopoldo is, is not free. But I think Leopoldo means a hope, a hope of fight, a hope of resist, of resist, resist for our fight, our fight for freedom, our fight for democracy, our fight for the change of the regime. Okay. This regime is a dictatorship, repressive, and murders, and we need to change. That's why I feel with Leopoldo in the house, uh, with the connection with the leaders of the unity, of democracy, the unity, and the connection with the, with the people, like feeling that Leopoldo is here in, 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 the, okay. in home, we have more, more, more hope for next Sunday. Because All right. next Sunday, uh, July 16, people, we will express the democracy will to change the regime okay. with, uh, with the vote th this next Sunday. All right, we'll be watching. For the, for the moment, Lillian and Leopoldo and your children, you are reunited after more than three years. Thank you.